What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Pages with Paige, and today we're going to be doing the Hocus Pocus book chat. Hello my darlings, so welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be doing the Hocus Pocus book tag which was created by The Locked Booktician and I'm so excited to answer these. They had a video go out in 2020 that had five Halloween themed tags and so I've taken the Hocus Pocus one to do today and I'm super excited to be able to dive in. So I'll leave their video linked below with the other tags as well. So if you want to do this, consider yourself tagged and have fun with it. I chose this one because I do love Hocus Pocus the movie. So there's just a few questions. So it'll be a quite quick and easy tag and let's dive in. The first question is what book would you consider to be a sweet tooth? Meaning a book you can't get enough of. And I'm going with The Lila Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. This book series I am so excited to be able to get to Iris Kelly and I'm just I love it so much. It's so sweet. It's so wholesome. I know that I will reread this series. I just love the characters. I love that it deals with hard hitting topics, but also has that light and brevity to it. I love this so much. So it's a very sweet book that deals with harder topics and I very much appreciate that. Next up is name a series or single book that has magic, vampires and werewolves. Oh, so my original answer for this, I just realized doesn't have werewolves in it. Magic, vampires and werewolves. My brain immediately wants to go with Twilight. <laughs> so since my initial doesn't have werewolves in it, I'm gonna go with the Vampire Diaries series by LJ Smith. They were a time, not quality literature at all, but it was a good time for me going in with just wanting the vampire vibes, which I got. And they do have witches and werewolves in it. So I was looking at other ones and I'm like, I don't want to mention those. So Vampire Diaries. It's weird that I enjoyed that more than I enjoyed City of Bones but I also was a very different age. Name a series or single book that has two sisters and they're magical. So I'm going with the Practical Magic series by Alice Hoffman. I liked Practical Magic when I read it, but I loved the movie. And then I read Rules for Magic, which was following the aunts. And I definitely enjoyed that so much. I had so much fun with it. I haven't read one book out of the quartet, I think, but I've enjoyed what I have read of the series so far. Rules for Magic and Practical Magic feature sisters that are magical. Next up is what is your favorite fictional character to dress up as for Halloween? And for me, I'm going with Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Land. It is super easy. My mum made a costume for my sister. I don't know how many years ago. We still have it. It still fits. It's made of very stretchy material. <laughs> the only thing that isn't as comfortable to wear now is a tight overlay, which is definitely restricting <laughs> the chest. But aside from that, it all fits perfectly and it's super easy to put on and it's super easy to adapt to make it a darker, bloodier version. Like I have an apron that has blood spatter on it and I can make myself a zombie, dirty and it all washes off so it's easy to adapt it to a not so nice Alice but also keep it as the sweetness and Alice so I have a lot of fun with that and it's just so easy to do. Next is have you watched Hocus Pocus and what are your thoughts? So I have seen Hocus Pocus many times I absolutely love it anytime I think of I've got a spell on you it's done in my head the scene will play and repeat for the next couple of days I have so much fun with it it is very nostalgic for me and I definitely got a shock watching that growing up and then watching NCIS and seeing Binks be Timothy McGee and I was just like oh my god lost my nuggets when I realized that but I adore it I have so much fun every time that I watch it and I haven't brought myself to watch the new version of it but I've always loved the original so I'd love to see the new version as well the next one is if you could have any famous cat which one would it be? And I don't know cats. I don't know famous cats. Like there is one from a book series that I'm happy to not have that cat. So I thought, you know what? I, I don't ever want a cat, but if I do, I want one that is reflective of my personality. So I'm going with Buttercup from The Hunger Games because that cat is an absolute demonic little creature. So I love it for that. And I think it would fit into our household with absolute chaotic energy in the perfect way and hate everything and everyone. The next question is, who is your favorite fictional warlock of all time and for me I couldn't come up with an answer for this one unfortunately. The only one I could think of is Magnus Bane and I uh, uh, he's like the only warlock that I know. If I'm allowed I would like to say my favorite mage and that is Numer from the Immortal series and also the Tempest and Slaughter series by 
relate to Maura Pierce. I fell in love with Numair, they've always had a really big part of my soul and I am eagerly awaiting the next book in that series. <laughs> but I loved seeing his older self in the Immortal series and then getting to see him grow up in the first Tempest and Slaughter book, so it it's he's my favourite mage. And if we're going that they're just male witches, I feel like Numair would be the closest. If we're going for Warlock that is made a pact with a demon to get their magic, I don't have anyone that I can think of. And the last question is, which author would you go trick-or-treating with? I'm gonna say Lady Taylor. I just feel like they would have the absolute immaculate vibes, costumes, enthusiasm for life that I think would be fantastic. Their effort that they go to for their costumings for Comic-Con and all of that that I've seen looks amazing. I feel like if their partner and daughter would like to come along with they would have a grand old time and we'd just be able to explore and have a whimsical fucking evening trick-or-treating. So that's my answer for that. So a very short quick little tag to go up the week before Halloween. My readathons happening in November will be going up on Halloween so that's why I'm putting it out a week early but I thought you know let's still get it out there and have a good time and I'm just so excited to be able to bring this tag and finally do a Halloween themed thing in like a Halloween time frame. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below which fictional cat you'd take and if you do dress up for Halloween who you would like to dress up as or any of the other questions let me know your answers down below and if you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!